this is part one setting up a scenario uh, once you get your train simulator 2013 loaded presented with your collection screen we want to use the main menu and under the main menu you see the option of editor we'll click that and you're shown a list of all your routes and my plan is to create one on a northeastern route and I want to use the scenario editor click that button and you see here there's a list of scenarios already there we're going to create a new one we'll click the new scenario button My plan is to haul some grain hoppers from the Foss Grain Annex, which I'll make that the location for the start. And the type, I want to have a standard scenario, not just the free roam. And you see here there's a timetable scenario listed. It's advised not to even try to create those anymore because. In future versions this option will no longer exist and those scenarios will cease to work so don't even do them you have free roam standard and relay we're going to create a standard and we have to give it a name the route to load. Now once the route is loaded you're presented with the scenario marker icon and if you double click on it you get a fly out over here to the right and I like to use the push pin to pin it so it stays open <clears throat> otherwise it'll keep disappearing on you when you don't expect it to you have several items of information about your scenario that you can enter. If you run the mouse over the icons it gives you a description of what the box is wanting. And the first one is the name of the scenario which we already entered in when we created the new one. And the next one is a description and the description is what shows up from the menu when a user is selecting your scenario to run so you can make it pretty basic and the next line is the briefing which is used by the player when running the scenario and it pops up in the briefing information from the HUD icon going to take six full hoppers to Vinland refinery for drop off. Next line is the author. Type your name in there. And the next space is the start location which is FOSS Annex. And the next line is the date and it is in day, month, and year. We can just change it to 2012. The next selection is for the rating on how hard you rate the scenario as the writer. And I'll just leave that at one and the duration which we do not know because we haven't run it yet and the time the time of the scenario is in a 24-hour format 
so one o'clock would be thirteen but we're going to go in the morning make it at nine then the next option is weather you have a drop down arrow or you can pick what you want and be advised this here like CP is for the Cajun Pass route and this is for some European route so if the user doesn't have them he won't be able to use them even though they're showing up on your system like this here mock severe storm one it's something that my friend Doc made for us for the NERW you may or may not have it but you don't want to take the chance if you do use it you should mention it in your readme that you're using weather from Doc's enhancement now I'm going to choose partly cloudy slow makes nice clouds in the sky that move and I'll leave the season at summer and this here class I'm not really sure what it's for but the drop down shows you steam diesel and electric we're doing diesel it defaulted to all I normally just leave it at all until I find out further information of what it is exactly for it's possible it could be something for the steam workshop but at this time I'm not sure and all this information can be edited and changed at any time if you made mistakes or spelling mistakes you can go back and fix them and now we got all the info in there that we can use so we're gonna save when you press F2 the save box comes up and you want to say yes to save it now we know we have a for sure scenario written to the hard drive that we can edit and adjust 